All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Fool for your one and only. How are all my adventures doing? Welcome back to Devlog. And this is number 10. Uh, last episode, we added actual controls to a sprite, and this is our test sprite. Now we're adding the animations to that test sprite just so we can actually get the animation of the walk. Remember last video, at the end of it, it was just shifting around inside of our idle animations. So, today we're going to be fixing that. And that's the only thing we're going to be doing in this video. I was supposed to stream today, but Twitch is not getting rid of my affiliation. <laughs> so I, I think I got to wait until like later tonight or tomorrow. Hopefully it's not going to be business days to where I have to wait until Monday for them to remove my affiliation. I don't want it anymore. I want to go back to dual streaming. So yeah, I want to have fun with that again instead of having a whole affiliation thing. I, I regret getting Twitch affiliation, even though it was like a really good fun achievement for me, but yeah. So anyway, inside of this, uh, we are going to be setting up the actual controls and letting the game know like which direction your controls are going in so it knows which animations to pick like if i like if i hold down a it's going to use the left animation if i hold down oh god all my buttons are coming off typical gamer thing if i hold down d it's gonna go right if i hold down s it's gonna go downwards if i hold w it's gonna go up basic basic game controls so as you can see, we're setting up the controller now. So it understands the Y and X axis. It was actually extremely easy to do. It was only the part where I had to go back into this. <laughs> My uh, player controls. The thing that we did uh, in the episode, oh no, devlog nine and Somehow I screwed up the first time and the thing that happened with that was somehow I coded it somewhat correctly and somewhat wrong to the point where the animations were working, but my character was running in place. And if I pushed a direction, whichever direction I push, let's say if I push left direction, yeah, if I, if I go left. It would be stuck going left. It wouldn't move or anything. It would literally be stuck going left. Which was <laughs> unfortunate. It's, it's like it caught itself and went into like an insta loop of that animation. I can like change any directions. It was just stuck in place going one direction. But I control Z went all the way back and restarted it again. Then this time I got it right. You guys are wondering why I do like every session, every small session of um, what was his name? Game Dev Experiments uh, little videos is because I save it, close it so I can have a checkpoint. Then the game, then I open it again, then I can control Z all the way back to my mistakes of his next of his next session that he actually starts. Let's say Pretty much episodes nine stopping point was when I got done. So I close I saved it, closed it, opened it up. Then usually save that as a checkpoint. So there's no more control Z from that point. I can't. It's already emptied that file. So now I'm on episode 10. I made a mistake. I can control Z all the way back to episode nine's you know ending point. Pretty simple. <laughs> so I, I'm basically saving myself the headache and just doing this all one at a time, not doing like two videos in one, you know, not overwhelming myself since I'm still pretty new to coding and, you know, making a game. So yeah, I think tomorrow we're going to actually start on like collision. So I'll be learning collision then. That's going to be lots of fun. <laughs> I need to find my uh, houses I use for my for the first attempt at RPG Maker. I know where to find it. If I don't, I can just download it again. If anybody knows this whole should not be capturing little bug down here, 
What up? Uh, I'm gonna remove myself just so you guys can see it. This right here. Might know this. Should not be capturing when there is a hot control. I, I haven't seen this one. Do I have to go back into my code? I think I'm. I think I probably messed something up. I'm not sure yet. But if you guys have any fixes for that, let me know. That would be very helpful. Like I said, I'm going to be asking, you know, some people for tips and stuff. Tips and tricks. People who can uh, actually help me fix things. Okay, I had to make sure that I wasn't just like <laughs> AFK or has still paused. I think I was just watching like a part of the video. Just trying to figure out like, oh no, I was searching up what what it, what was that uh, error I was getting. Apparently I just ignored it and just kept going. So right now I'm doing like the finishing touches and everything, making sure everything's good. Oh yeah, now I'm putting in the... Um, the branches for for the walking animation. I actually enjoyed this. I might have to switch over to the URF version. Is is that what it's called? URF or U UDP? I don't remember. Whichever one the other one is, because I want to have lighting and shadows. So I'm thinking about doing that. Because I think that's the only way you're going to be able to do lighting and shadows is through that version. So I have no problem doing this over again and fixing all this. And put it inside of, you know, that version of Unity. Just because it... I don't mind relearning, well, relearning the code because, hey, the more I do it, the more it will stick with me. So, no problem there. But yeah, back to um reason why I'm leaving Twitch's affiliation is is just not for me anymore, dude. I have I have no oh yeah here it is everything everything's fixed as you can see. Uh, that's just gonna be starting over, so we can just stop that. But yeah, I'm leaving Twitch affiliation and going back to dual streaming. So you guys will have more thing, well, more content on YouTube. And it saves me from having to <laughs> having to edit a whole bunch of crap just to upload it to YouTube when it's already here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to try and continue Facebook as well, because I'm already doing two things. I'm already streaming on Twitch and I'm already streaming on YouTube at that point. Not sure if I want to add Facebook on there, which I can, but that's the thing. I would have to find a multi-chat tool that'll actually like keep all chats together, which the only one I know of is Restream, and I'm not trying to pay money for a chat. <laughs> just just to have all my chats queues together. I'm I'm not trying to pay money for that. But um yeah, if OBS could do that, that'd be freaking great. <laughs> just built in OBS multi stream chat I can just add my Facebook chat and my YouTube chat and Twitch chat in one you know and it shows all the symbols on the side the, the thing that restream does that'd be great I can I plan on playing a whole bunch of horror games today and tomorrow but Twitch is kind of ruining that plan that plan because they're taking all day so yeah and I need to hurry up and do that before um Outlast Trials ends because I got invited to to the beta to the closed beta of Outlast Trials and I want to get in as much game time as I can so as soon as these bastards remove my affiliation I will start the dual stream and we could just get that rolling but that's it I hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys on the next one until then peace out look forward to collision learning next video <laughs> that's gonna be fun
sister.